is what so many people don't understand. A big part of the confusion and shame for child victims is that the attention and the seduction from the predator, who is probably going to be somebody you know. Winfrey ties to sex trafficking through convicted monster John of God. Is now serving 19 years in prison for the of four women. He is facing additional cases related to several sex crimes. You're seven years old and someone is stroking your it feels good. Get ready for some jaw-dropping revelations, folks, because the cat's out of the bag. In an explosive turn of events, entertainment mogul Tyler Perry has recently shed light on what really goes on behind the scenes of the beloved talk show, Queen Oprah Winfrey. Brace yourselves as we delve into the secret and scandalous double life of the media icon that has remained hidden from the prying eyes of the public until now. So let's get right into it. Oprah Winfrey, an American talk show host, television producer, actress, author, and philanthropist, has been a prominent figure in the entertainment industry for decades. While she is widely known for her successful television show, The Oprah Winfrey Show, her career in television has not been without controversy and gossip. One infamous incident that went viral involved Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen's interview on The Oprah Winfrey Show. There's a new rumor that's recently surfaced has really upset you, right? Uh, you know the one about eating. The clip caused a stir due to Oprah's insensitive line of questioning regarding the twins' weight. It was no secret that Mary-Kate and Ashley had struggled with their weight in the past, and during the interview, Oprah decided to ask invasive questions that clearly made them uncomfortable. The incident sparked outrage, with many criticizing Oprah for her insensitivity and lack of empathy. One such association is her friendship with Harvey Weinstein, the disgraced film producer who faced numerous essay and harassment allegations. Despite Weinstein's long-standing reputation as a predator, Oprah maintained a close relationship with him. Speculation arose that she may have even encouraged actresses to work with him, leading to accusations of her complicity in the alleged misconduct. These allegations conflicted with Oprah's public persona as a champion of women's empowerment and a supporter of the hashtag MeToo movement. Some argued that her association with Weinstein demonstrated a double standard in her treatment of accused individuals. If you think you've heard the worst, brace yourselves for the shocking truth behind one of Oprah's most notorious moves, her decision to feature the self-proclaimed healer and criminal extraordinaire John of God on her show. Picture this, a Brazilian healer who claims to possess spiritual powers and uses them to purportedly heal people. Sounds like something out of a Hollywood movie, right? Well, in this case, reality turned out to be even stranger than fiction. John of God, as he came to be known, managed a healing facility in Brazil where vulnerable individuals sought solace and spiritual guidance. Little did they know that the man they were entrusting their well-being to had a dark and sinister side. It wasn't long before the truth about John of God's criminal activities came to light. Reports of essay and abuse began to emerge, painting a chilling portrait of a man who shamelessly took advantage of those who sought his help. One particular incident sent shockwaves through the public. A woman who had visited John of God's Center for Healing found herself subjected to the most heinous act imaginable during a private consultation. It's enough to make your skin crawl just thinking about it, but what's truly mind-boggling is the role that Oprah played in catapulting John of God into the limelight. By featuring him on her show, she bestowed upon him a stamp of legitimacy, giving him access to a wider audience and inadvertently endorsing his criminal behavior. It's almost inconceivable that someone as influential and respected as Oprah could be so blind to the true nature of this charlatan. Was it naivety or a calculated move? Only those privy to the inner workings of Oprah's world can truly know. This eyebrow-raising incident took place back in 2010 during one of Oprah's attention-grabbing segments titled, Do You Believe in Miracles? Little did her audience know that the miracle they were about to witness was the rise of a criminal under the guise of a spiritual healer. It's a testament to Oprah's unparalleled ability to captivate and sway her viewers that she managed to give John of God a platform, despite the unspeakable acts he would later be accused of. Anyway, while Oprah did attempt to salvage her reputation by expressing empathy toward the brave women who came forward with allegations against John of God, it's clear that her involvement had already left an indelible mark. 
The damage had been done and the sinister connection between Oprah and this criminal healer would forever be etched in the annals of scandalous history. Meanwhile, in the midst of the scandal surrounding Oprah Winfrey, it seems like Tyler Perry is making moves to distance himself from his longtime collaborator. The grapevine is buzzing with speculation about whether Tyler Perry may have been influenced or even mentored by Oprah, which could explain his own string of controversies and scandals. While Tyler attempts to disassociate himself from the allegations swirling around Oprah, he has faced his fair share of scandals throughout his career. Whispers in the industry suggest a range of accusations, from pressuring actors into accepting gay roles against their will to alleged instances of poor working conditions on his productions. These eyebrow-raising controversies have led some to question Perry's ethical standards and his treatment of the cast and crew involved in his projects. One particular incident that raised eyebrows was the Monique scandal. The talented actress took to the stage and publicly criticized both Tyler Perry and Oprah for offering her a lowball contract during negotiations for a film. The drama unfolded during Monique's comedy special at Harlem's Apollo Theater in New York, where she pointed the finger at Lee Daniels, Tyler Perry, and Oprah Winfrey, accusing them of shutting her out of Hollywood and sabotaging her chances of securing further work after her outstanding performance in the 2009 film Precious. According to Monique, Perry and Oprah allegedly perpetuated the notion that she was difficult to work with, damaging her professional reputation. In response to Monique's scathing remarks, Tyler Perry sat down for an interview with The Hollywood Reporter, addressing the issue of racism in Hollywood. While he expressed some support for Oprah Winfrey during the conversation, it was evident that he was carefully navigating the situation. Interestingly, Tyler Perry once revealed that Oprah had given him advice on managing his finances, urging him to keep a close eye on his money. This tidbit suggests a close relationship between the two, indicating that Tyler had been open to Oprah's guidance. However, now that things have taken a chaotic turn for the talk show host, it seems Tyler is trying to distance himself from her. Meanwhile, fans have not been shy about expressing their disgust for the alleged actions of these two celebrities. I have never liked Oprah. She has always come off as sneaky, two-faced, and narcissistic. I'm happy to see someone finally holding her accountable, one fan commented. Another one added, she's a handler, and I'm happy to see more people are becoming aware of the toxic person she truly is. Another fan called out Tyler Perry, saying, I don't care what anybody says, Tyler Perry is legit cruel. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye.